In this exercise, we will be learning how to package fragments. By the end of this exercise, we will have imported fragments created in the last exercise into the platform, as well as exported a collection. So this one's a little bit shorter, but here's the steps that we'll be taking in this exercise. We'll first import the fragment onto the LifeRay platform, and then we'll export our collection. After this exercise, there's two bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes creating a content page, going to the section builder and adding fragments to the page, and then creating a new collection in the fragments editor and exporting it into a new instance. And with this, let's get straight into our exercise. So for this part of the exercise, we'll need our LifeRay instance running. So go ahead and start that up if it's not currently started up for you. And you can do this by going into your LifeRay directory, and then you'll navigate into your bundles folder. And from there, you'll find the LifeRay, the Tomcat, and the binaries folder, and then you can run your startup command from there. Right now, we'll also have to navigate into our fragments folder. So you can see that I'm currently here, C drive, LifeRay, Livingston fragments. When you're here, we'll run together the command npm run import. And this will start the import process for our fragment we created. We'll use a default port. So this is giving us localhost 8080, so we can just hit enter. It'll ask us for our admin username and password. So mine is currently configured to the ones that we had set up, but yours might say test at liferay.com. If that's the case, then you'll have to type in josiah.copeland at livingston.com if that's how you set it up. And for the password, I'm going to type in my password, which is test. Then it's going to ask for a company ID. We'll use the default. And then for the group ID, it presents as global or Livingston hotels and resorts. We'll have to navigate down one and select Livingston hotels and resorts. And then this will generate and upload the fragments into our bundle instance. So to check that this is correctly imported, we'll go over to our localhost 8080. You have to sign in as your admin user if you're not currently signed in. But after you're signed in, then we can go to the site administration. We'll open up design and we'll click fragments down here. And we'll see that right here we have Livingstone hotels and resorts and the front page fragment that we just created. Now I'll also show you how to export a collection. So right next to the Livingston front page title, right here, you'll see the options button. We can click the export from the dropdown. And from here, we'll see that it has exported the file. So that's all for this exercise, and we'll see you for the next one.